The great summer pastime here in Minnesota is not the Minnesota Twins. It's not going up north to the lake, don't you know? It's the Vikings trying to sign J.C. Treader. Vikings fans all over the place, this is the day. This is the day. No, this is the week. This is the time. This is the, the finally the Vikings are going to uh, get their ish together and sign J.C. Treader. They got the cap space. Bring him on in. The Vikings offensive line will be top dog, but nah. nah. And of course, all there, there's all kinds of rumors and innuendo. Oh, J.C. wants to come to Minnesota. He's got the Vikings on the short list. His dad, Joe Treader, is out here uh, banging on the table. It's like, hey, Vikings, is it going to be the Vikings? Is it going to be the Dolphins for the NFLPA present? Who knows? Uh, who really knows? But I, I do believe that the Vikings are committed to Garrett Bradbury to a degree because they didn't sign a, a big-time free agent center. Uh, Chris Reed does have some center experience, but they see him as a guard. Uh, Jesse Davis, is, he's going to be a guard as well. And they didn't draft a, a center. They could have had uh, Linderbaum. They could have had Cam Jurgens, They could have had Donovan West. They could have done all that stuff, but they didn't. They didn't, so they committed to Garrett Bradbury. But part of me believes that Quasey, given his history with the Browns, given his history with J.C. Treader, who knows every so all all this rumor and innuendo and hubbub about J.C.'s health, I I think the person who would know would be uh, Quasey Adolfo Mensa, and the fact that he's just out there chilling. I, I do believe that, hey, if Bradbury falters in OTAs or in the beginning of training camp, JC's going to get a call. What's up? Yeah, what's up, man? Because yeah, there, there's a whole lot of people freaking out as well. If JC Treader was so good, he would be signed by now. Not necessarily. You have a veteran like JC Treader who, you know, like people say, does have some health concerns, especially lower body. Wouldn't you want him to have as few reps as possible? He's a veteran. He doesn't need the reps. He doesn't need the work. He can just walk in at the end of training camp and be that dude because of his veteran status. Why does it matter that he's not signed in OTAs? Why does it matter that he's not signed in minicamp? And maybe the Vikings are giving an honest look at Garrett Bradbury at center. And if it's, if it doesn't work out, their contingency plan is on the street, and his name is JC. That's right. 31 years old, six foot four, 307. Was a 2013 fourth round pick by the Greasy Grimy Green Bay Packers out of Cornell. Maybe you've heard of it. Uh, jumped to the Browns, a good team in 2017. Spent five years in Cleveland. Was consistently a top five center. I, I think that's fair to say. Last year, he posted an 83.7 PFF pass blocking grade. Second dose, best in the NFL. Not bad for a dude who's hurt. Apparently, uh, only allowed 10 pressures and one sack. That's a normal drive for Garrett Bradbury. Mm. Uh, he only allowed six sacks in five seasons with the Browns, which is amazing. Plus, uh, given all of the speculation about his health, he's never missed a game in Cleveland due to injury. He did miss one last season due to COVID, but he protected Baker Mayfield. Baker had all the time in the world to make bad decisions, and plus he plowed the road for Nick Chubb and uh, Kareem Hunt. So he still has a lot of game. I mean, decline in play wasn't the reason why the Browns cut him. They cut him because of cap reasons, even though hashtag the cap is a myth. But, and like we said, JC, he doesn't need to be grinding out in OTAs. He doesn't really need the beginning of training camp either, uh, specifically. Like, he certainly does need preseason. And he could walk in today, today, or hell, he could walk in uh, at the end of July and he would be the best interior offensive lineman on the Vikings. Absolutely no cap. Uh, None at all. So, uh, again, I think what the Vikings are trying to do is smart. They see that Garrett Bradbury's younger. They say that he's got potential. And Bradbury is a microcosm of this entire roster because the Vikings kept the band together. They kept a lot of the veterans, a lot of aging veterans, a lot of ones with large contracts uh, from the previous regime on the roster. And it's a case of, Mama, I can change him. Like, the previous regime didn't get the best out of Garrett Bradbury. But uh, coming in, Chris Cooper, new line coach, Wes Phillips, new OC, has also has an offensive line background. Kevin O'Connell coming in, offensive-minded head coach. They see Garrett Bradbury, and they see the potential that may him a first round pick a couple years ago is like hey we can work with this and if it all goes to pot we have jc treader just out there chilling and i'm not saying that a, a team would do this but could there possibly be a hey if ish hits the fan with bradbury if it goes all ha- amber heard on the bit if he poo poos the bed he's got the poo poo platter out there hey uh, you're gonna be our dude and we'll pay you top dollar, and we will get you in. And you don't need to sweat your ass off at, at OTAs and training camp. You need, you don't need to grind. 17-game season. We'll keep you fresh, man. Popping fresh. Let's go get a ring. Woo. That's right. 
but because you know, what else is there? I mean, seriously, what what else is there at the pivot? I know uh, Wyatt Davis did have some center snaps uh, last season. I know that they're experimenting with Kyle Hinton. Austin Schlotman has a little bit of center experience as well. Chris Reed, like we mentioned, but there isn't a true blue pivot man on the roster. And like we said, right now, J.C. Treader would be the best interior offensive lineman on the team. Like, none. Like, instantly. Instantaneously. But we'll see. I mean, the longer he floats out there, the longer it makes me think that there's there's something in the works. Because as the time is going on now, like, Jadavion Clowney just signed with the Browns over the weekends. Like, these free agents are just out there chilling big names that still have a lot of game left they're starting to be snatched up and a lot of them are signing now because hey as few otas or as few as mini camp as possible i want to enjoy my summer i'll see your ass in training camp and then we'll get after man jc trader could be that guy i think he would be, bring instant leadership instant credibility to this offensive line but if if they think that they can they can coax the talent out of bradbury that we haven't seen in the last three seasons i'm all for it I'm all for it too. Treader, Treader would be a short-term solution. Bradbury could be the future, uh, but again, we'll we'll see what happens. These next couple weeks uh, are going to be very important for Bradbury, especially mini camp uh, coming up in June, and then you know, we'll see what happens at the start of training camp. But but if Bradbury's you know getting lit up uh, every single day in practice, and then uh, if it doesn't look good in preseason, I think JC is going to be getting the text from uh, Quasi, you up? Yeah. That's what's going to happen, man. Lock it in. Uh, be your thoughts on our thoughts. Is J.C. Treader the Vikings contingency plan at center? Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull, production value.